Okay, starting the vlog kind of late, but we made it into King's Dominion. And today I'm going to be riding my 100th roller coaster in this park. I am planning to make it Intimidator 305. The or Project... Or Project 305. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen Dominator go, so I don't think it's open today. Which is sad, but like, I've ridden B&M loopers everywhere. It's not that big of a deal. So we are heading to Twisted Timbers and Grizzly. First going to, uh, what is it called? Candy Apple Grove. Probably gonna get another Wild Mouse because it has terrible capacity. Probably. Oh, uh, too bad. You don't want to go on it. I'll go on it. For, th for the credit. There it is. Intimidator 305. Man, I'm gonna be so hyped for that. Yeah, you go through the the the, the gift shop to go to Grizzly. <laughs> yeah, I heard it going. Alright, we're going on Grizzly first. Yes, sir. Grizzly first. Just went on Twisted Timbers and Grizzly. That's 91 and 92 for my credits. I'm getting ever so closer to those 100 roller coasters. The next ride I'll be going on is Apple's Apple, right there. Well, I want to talk about Twisted Timbers for a bit. There were some elements that I didn't expect to be good, like the third lap when there were just like the twists and like the overbanks. I didn't expect those to give airtime. Same with the zero G uh, down drop. I also didn't expect that to give me time, but it was really good. Three Camelbacks, actually insane. All of the slight banking changes actually made the ride so much better. And I think we're gonna go on Apple's Apple now. Let's go. Apple's Apple. That was like, that was a wild mouse. I have no comment. Over there is, I think Racer 75. We're probably gonna go on that next. This was my 93rd credit. And if both sides are open on Racer 75, that's 94 and 95. Okay, we are going on both sides. I report that is two credits. Two credits are going to be acquired. Let's go, bro. That is two steps further to I-305 as my 100th roller coaster. Look at that. Intimidator 305. That ride actually looks crazy. Off a race of 75. That is. <laughs> Razor 75 is such a fun ride just because of the dueling. And since I have friends, I put one of my friends on the other train. And it was so fun looking at them while dueling. That definitely boosted up since it doesn't have that many, that many forces as in airtime. Like, airtime is basically non existent except for the first drop and then drop out the turnaround. But that is still really fun just because of the dueling. Anyways, I don't know where we're gonna go next. Just continue down this path, I guess. I've been looking forward to this place for so long. Ever since I first saw this on YouTube, I was so excited to go here. Look at that, there's Tambili. This, look, this place looks so cool. I'm so excited for this. Like, the theming is gonna be so great. At least I'm hoping it is. There it goes to Beely. Wow. Look at this place. Look. Usually I would not see this at a Cedar Fair Park. Like this is crazy theming. I love this. We'll probably go on to Beely first. We are riding reptilians. This in line for Tumbili is too long. We'll probably go on to Beely later. But this should be really fun. It's my first ever bobsled coaster. Nice. Finally, bro. That's the first time I've ever seen Intimidator go. For some reason, I've just not seen it. That looks crazy. Balls were crushed during Reptilian. So now we're going on to Billy. Reptilian is credit 96. This will be 97. Look at that. <clears throat> Dominator! I haven't seen it go, so it's probably still closed, but... Man, this ride looks so cool. Wow. Wissock Express is right here. Very underrated ride. But look at this. Whew. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go back to the entrance and get something or pick something up. And then I'm gonna go back, either ride Wissock Express or Flight of Fear and Intimidator 305 will be my 100th roller coaster.
99th roller coaster. One hundredth roller coaster. I rode Anaconda. It was like kind of like Blue Hawk at Six Flags Over Georgia, but I don't know, just worse. It's also kind of like Kong at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom, but worse. Yeah, there was nothing really that interesting about it besides the hang time and the corkscrews. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot about the setting. The setting's pretty good too. See that? That's sewage water theming. That's crazy. This road backlot stunt coaster. That is officially my 99th roller coaster. That is actually crazy. We are now heading. Well, you can't really see it, but you can see Anaconda. We are heading. We are heading to Intimidator 305. And that will be, once again, my 100th roller coaster. That's crazy. Road Intimidator 305 twice near the back. 100th 100th roller coaster. Boom! I did it. Oh, that's actually crazy. Whatever. Project 305. Whatever, man. I'm calling it Intimidator. Wow. That's better than Fury. I'll just say that. Better than Fury. Whew. First of all. Lift hill is so crazy. Even the lift hill is crazy. Like, it's so fast and it's steep. It gets you so hyped for the ride. Drop. I don't know why people say the drop is, like, not as good as other Giga drops, but it literally is, like, feels the same as, let's say, Fury 325's drop. Kind of. Except with, like, shorter vest restraints that don't bother you in any way possible. Like, <clears throat> the vest restraints are, like, not even that bad. Like, I don't mind them at all. Okay. The turn, you can't really see it, or that helix down there after the drop. Absolutely insane! Like, <laughs> every time I go through that helix, I go dead silent. And once I go over the airtime hill, I'm screaming at the top of my lungs. Like, <laughs> I didn't even know how I did not black out on that ride. But the, the gray out, it was there. The gray out was so insane. And there it goes. Airtime hill. Really good floater. I'm like partially ejector going down, but going up is floater. And then after that, there's this very shallow hill. That hill that goes right along there. It looks kind of decent. It looks kind of decent, but it's actually like it gives ejector because of the twist. And after that, you have all the switchbacks. Those switchbacks are so insane. Like, I can't even believe that exists. Like, oh my gosh, it is insane. Like, it gives airtime on a normal switch in direction. And the trimmed airtime hills, although they are trimmed, it still gives pretty good floater. That second hill, it kind of just serves as a way to turn around. That other twist is just on par as the other twists. And there it goes into the brake run. My 100th roller coaster.
I went to Twisted Timbers, got a ride on that. And I think you also saw some videos and pictures of me on the Ferris wheel. I got some really good pictures over there too. But for now, I'm gonna go to the kitty section and get the kitty credits here. Woodstock Express. It's actually pretty fun. Guys, I need to make sure. Is this a roller coaster? It seems like a powered coaster, but some powered coasters are considered roller coasters. If this is a roller coaster, I'm willing to ride it. Just for the credit, you know? Huh. I am not gonna ride this. I'm just too lazy. I am gonna ride this roller coaster, which I am sure of is a credit. Hopefully, they don't have a 54 on tight requirement. Two kitty credits acquired. My credit count is at 102. Woodstock Express. Woodstock Express is one of the best family coasters I've ever ridden. That ride is actually like really fun. The airtime going down the drop of the turnaround is like ejector. And since there's a buzz bar, it's actually crazy. Anyways, we're entering Jungle Expedition. For some reason, I don't know. This is just a passing point. Look at that, there's Tumbili. All right. Wow, Intimidator 305 is so tall you can see it from here. I think I'm going I'm going to go check on Flight of Fear and see if it's open. If not, if not, I'll just ride Intimidator 305 again. Looks like Flight of Fear is still closed. Kind of sad. We are riding a clone of this at Six Flags America though, so I am not missing out on much besides the theming. Which is kind of what I was looking forward to for this whole ride, but whatever. I guess I'll just go on Intimidator 305. That kind of makes up for it, because Intimidator 305 is one of the best rides in the world. I think it's better than Fury 325, honestly. The switchbacks on this ride can easily be compared to the pops of airtime that Fury gives, except this is stronger. Um, airtime moments, like as in just straight up camelbacks. I think the first camelback on Intimidator is like really good. And the smaller one is not as good because of the trims on it. So I'd say they're about equal. But what I do like about Intimidator 305 is the speed. You're going so fast. And you're so low to the ground right in this section. You feel, it feels like you're racing. Like, honestly. Like, obviously, it's called, oh, wait. It's not called Intimidator 305 anymore. Oh, my gosh. There it goes. It travels over that hill so fast, too. Like, all the transitions are super whippy. And I think it's really fun. Rod Flight of Fear for the first time. It was pretty fun actually. I think it's I think it would have been better if it didn't completely stop on the mid-course break run. But the atmosphere inside there is pretty fun. It's like very I've I actually haven't ridden an indoor roller coaster before. At least that I can know of right now. So I think that was pretty fun. Mushrooms and a toad. <laughs> this is a King's Dominion classic. Yeah. Wake up, boys. You're on. Oh, yeah. Here we go. I want a girl just like the girl that married dear old dad. 
She was a pearl and the only girl that Daddy ever had. He ever had. She was a good old-fashioned girl with heart so true. One who loves nobody else but you. I want a girl just like the girl that married dear old Dad. That married dear old dear. Mushrooms. Goodbye to work and woe and worries. Hello to have. There it is, the drop tower. <laughs> Bruh, they gave an actual legitimate countdown. The one at Great, the one at California's Great America goes five, four, three, and then they drop you. Yeah. Bruh. I mean, I've heard this drop tower is really punchy though, so. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going on it because I've been on, you've been on one drop tower, you've been in the mall. Twisted Timbers! At this point, I've been on every roller coaster in the park, so I'm just riding what I want to ride now. And that is re-rides on, on, re on Twisted Timbers. All right, we are exiting the park. It is, I think, 8.45. After this, we are going to drive to D.C. for Six Flags America. And obviously, some other stuff in D.C. There's a lot of things to do in D.C., so we'll be staying there for a few days. I think the only real big coaster that I missed was Dominator. Which is still closed. Yeah, it was closed the entire day. I don't know what they're doing. Maybe it's staffing, maybe it's maintenance. I don't know, but I didn't ride it. Honestly, I'm not too sad about it because we got, yeah, we got BNM floorlesses everywhere, so. Okay. What else did we do? I rode all the kiddie coasters, got all the credits, hit 100 credits with Intimidator 305 being my 100th. Actually crazy. I actually got, I actually got to 100 credits, which is insane. Whoo. Yep, we are leaving the park. The Eiffel Tower is right under us. Now it has passed us. Dominator looks amazing even though it's closed. I'll be very sad if Dominator clo opens right when we leave the park, but... I don't think that'll happen. Yeah. I highly doubt it. We could have eaten at the Grain and Grill, but like... We didn't want to. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of the reason we just didn't want to. But... Anyways... Yeah, we're just walking out the exit now. Waiting for our ride to DC, which is gonna be one and a half hours. Whew! Man. I have officially decided that Intimidator 305, or Project 305, is my number one favorite roller coaster. It is better than Fury 325. <laughs> Bro, my number one is changing so much now. It used to be X2, and it probably still could be X2 if I like, if I re-ride it, and I think it's better. And then it became Fury. And then now, it's Intimidator 305. I don't think anything can top Intimidator 305, honestly. I think it'll stay that way for a while. And with that, there's some beautiful fountains everywhere. I am leaving the park. And I'll see you all next time.